Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron bubble. When you come to Bingley Grammar School, in English you'll learn of witches, detectives and ghouls. You'll debate about what is right, what is wrong. You'll analyse poetry, rhymes and songs. You'll learn about times gone by like life in the trenches and fighting the defences. You'll decide who is Shakespeare's worst villain. Could it be Lady Macbeth? Richard III or Caliban. The Autumn presents a chance to imagine, to write creatively about places, people and action. We can't wait to meet you in person, so please send us your queries and questions if you're uncertain. The person to speak to is Mrs Hodgson. Hi, my name's Mrs Hodgson and I'm the Key Stage 3 leader here at Bingley Grammar School. That means it's my job to oversee your English lessons in Year 7 and 8. The whole team here at Bingley, which includes 18 English teachers, are really, really looking forward to seeing you. And we're very sorry that we couldn't share a normal open evening with you this year. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what you might study in Year 7 when, if you come to Bingley Grammar School. We start off studying a novel, which will be either Private Peaceful or The Book Feast. Then you can move on and do your own creative writing, either writing a description or a story. After Christmas, you'll need to decide who you think is Shakespeare's worst villain. Then towards the end of the year, you'll get to make your own media texts, either newspapers, adverts or speeches. And then at the end of the year, you'll be able to study some poetry, also poetry by others, but your own poetry too. I'm sure you might be feeling a little bit nervous about what secondary school is going to be like. But you don't need to worry because all the staff here are really friendly and we can't wait to meet you. I'm sure some of your parents are feeling nervous as well. My eldest son is in year six this year, so I know exactly how you're feeling. But you do not need to worry, we will look after them for you. Bye for now.